Hi, once again, this is Kelly. And this is Reeves, and we are the co-hosts of TED Active. TEDx Youth Day. At Castilea. And uh, the uh, first TEDx ever TEDx Youth SMU in kids. SMU. A bunch of TEDx youth events. We love to do them. We love doing events it's with young people. It's our favorite thing, and we've put together a list of tips and tricks. Not so much rules, just things we've picked up along the way. Definitely not rules. I don't want to say with kids. There are no rules? No, there are rules. There I are. guess there are some rules, but there are. we're not here to talk about them and because we think it's really fun, and <laughs> <laughs> we're going to give you guidelines. Here's some tips and tricks. Shorten your talks, your sessions, and your whole event. You know how I feel about this. I do. Kids are shorter than people. <laughs> the event should be shorter <laughs> as well. How much shorter? How much shorter is the kid? Really, these are young people who spend all day, every day in a classroom trying to put on an event for them. You're trying to grab them. You're trying to get their interest. Just make it kid size and you'll be happy. Schedule some chaos and some noise. Now, so this does not mean that your program should be chaotic and noisy, but it means you know, leave a couple of spots in the program where you have question marks, where you can sort of get a read on the kids in the audience and maybe fill it in based on something that's happening there um, and get, get some of the kids to help you out. Separate kids from teachers. We learned this along the way. We didn't always we do did. this. But we always do it now. I'm not talking about segregating. If I could, I'd probably put the teachers in another room. But you can't do that. The point is you're trying to get an the audience. Balcony. There you go. We have done that. At least marginalize those authority figures. You're trying to have an audience that is an audience. You're trying to get kids to listen to the stage for their content. And this is a real way to help. Get kids up on stage. So when you're planning your program, definitely, definitely plan to include some kids in the speaker program. But even then, get more kids up on stage. Ask kids if they want to introduce a speaker. Maybe do a talent show. Ask kids questions. Have someone come up and sing. Play the piano if you have Absolutely. one. Sort of similar, get kids involved in the audience. A basic speaker rule, of course, is you never speak at a group. You speak with them especially true for young people, you should probably be getting at least as much energy from the crowd and maybe even as much vocalization from the crowd. How do you do that? Well, you ask rhetorical questions or you act actually ask questions or you get young people to shout out where they're from or how do you say, hello, my name is in a different language. Well, that's if been fun before. That, that that like if, you, if you ask the right questions, you will have no shortage of answers coming back at you. Absolutely. And then also get kids involved in the event. You can have them lead other kids to their seats. Take name badges. I mean, hand out name badges. Hand out lunches. Whatever you do to get kids involved, they will engage so much more in the whole experience, and they'll also go away having learned some extra things. We've probably outsourced just about every job that you can possibly do at a TEDx Including event. hosting. And we've yeah. outsourced our very own job. Did they do as good a job as us? Probably, probably actually so, probably yeah, did they probably <laughs> but did better than the we did. The point is, even if they do not, there's an earnestness there, and there's a real learning opportunity that you should take every chance that you have. And with uh, however many hundreds of kids in the audience, there's plenty of chances. Cannot go wrong. This is a nice rule. More demos. Demos are demonstrations, someone showing what he or she can do. These are great for young events. They're great for any event. It's people getting to see what someone's talent is at. It really works for getting a young person on stage, because sometimes a kid can't handle a five minute talk or even a three minute talk but he or he is really good at showing you what they do and then of course these can be turned into a Q&A if your host is, uh, is on point. Give kids what they want not what you think they need. I mean it's really easy for us to decide what we think kids need but like we have this thing you know would you be able to buy a CD for a 14 year old that you didn't know too well? You, you probably wouldn't even buy a CD <laughs> is the point. You'd probably, probably not. buy some kind of download. Anyway there's one big secret for finding out what a young person wants. We do it all the time with adults. We ask. Ask. We just figure out what they're looking for, and then we try to make an event that looks like that. So just ask. That works. Be conscious of age and grade differences. This is a little kind of thing that we learned along the way. When you're that age, there is a big difference between 11 and 13, for example, sixth grade and ninth grade. Remember that you're dropping in on a pre-existing and pretty rough social hierarchy. So just be familiar with it and understand what messages are coming back to you from that group. This is the last one. This is the last one, but really important. Feed them. Feed them. If you don't feed them, you could really be in for a world of trouble. But if you do, it could be the thing that they remember from the event. And well regardless, they I was won't be say hungry and cranky. At the very <laughs> least, feed them. <laughs> so those are our tips and tricks for adults and for kids. You should always be enjoying yourself. That's rule number one. Right? And, and rule number 
whatever this is. Remember everything. Uh, Congratulations for doing a TEDx event. And And have fun. And thank you for listening. Thanks.